Hello, fellow creatives. How are you? Hope you're doing well. This video is going to teach you how to build this nice starter home using materials that you can gather when you are at level 20 or under. And let's just say you're sick of living in like a dirt hut like that and you want to move up to the next level. This tutorial will do that for you because it's simple to build. I was able to do it in less than 40 minutes. And uh, frankly, it looks good too, right? By the way, this channel is filled with building tutorials and showcases designed to inspire you creatively. So if that sounds awesome to you, please consider hitting the bell icon below the video to subscribe. Also, this video is sponsored by G Portal. They sponsor my ARC servers and they also have PixArc servers available. So if you wanna get your own server, then check them out. I have a 5% off discount in the video description below. Just click on the referral link for your region. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started on the tutorial proper. So this is the materials list. As you can see, it doesn't require a lot of resources because each of these objects, you can build them pretty easily by just spending a few minutes collecting. One thing you need to do with a PixArc though is craft a lot of extra thatch wall blocks or wood ceilings and uh, you know extra blocks like that to help you place the blocks that we're going to be placing. It doesn't work like ARC where everything requires foundation support. You can actually build up and then remove scaffolding objects and then just leave the objects you want floating there and it looks like a complete build, which is really cool. Let's start the tutorial proper. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find a nice flat spot to build. You can build down here, but if you're watching this as part of a video series, I'm gonna to try to record a, another tutorial that lets you build an underground dino garage. You can take like a Triceratops in here right underneath your house. So you're gonna to wanna to actually build on top of a nice big hill like this. That's probably at least about this high, uh, eight or nine uh, block widths high and uh, have a nice flat spot on top. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Go away. There you go, goodbye. Okay, so I have already laid out the foundations. And so let me go into cheaty cheaty mode here. So this is 11 by seven. It works great for this size. Uh, it's not too big for a newbie who needs to gather materials by hand and uh, it'll look nice when we finish it. Of course, the final footprint will be nine by 13 plus a little deck off the back. So here's how we're going to do this. What we need to do is once you have the foundations laid out, you're gonna wanna ring it with ceilings so that we can hide these little pillar things, okay? And make sure that the orientation is the same as the foundation so you don't have kind of a weird ring kind of around it. You want this to kind of blend in and not stick out. So let's ring around the entire circumference of this square, I guess. Circumference is probably a wrong word. There we go. We've got a nice uh, nine by 13 sort of spot here. And now we're gonna go to, if this is the front of your house, you're gonna go to the back right corner here. And what we're going to do is we're gonna extend out the back deck. We're gonna go one, two, three, using ceilings. And then one, two, so it's three across and then one, two, three across here and then right there and then just fill it in. So that should work great. So now we have a nice little back deck, which is pretty cool. So next thing is let's take our wood walls and start filling in the floor plan, okay? So I'm gonna start here in the back right and uh, we're gonna go this way all the way across here to right here so that there are three blocks left. That means this should be six across, and then we're gonna go four across. So we can. One, two, three, four. We're gonna leave a gap for the doorway. Then we're gonna go one, two, three across. And that way we should have three across gap right here, which is nice. And then we're gonna go all the way back to the end like so. And of course, all the way out here, one, two, three. And I think we're leaving it right there. And then I'm gonna put one right there. Oh yeah, one right there, that way. That way we have a little door frame right here. And speaking of door frames, let's stick one right here. 
then we'll stick one right here. Now we have our doors, which is uh, kind of a nice little look. And then let's look at windows. Okay, so let's uh, let's put a window right here, a window right here, a window right next to the door. There we go. <laughs> and then two windows on the other side of the door. And of course, we're, let's do a window right here. Optional, of course, but I kind of like uh, adding this in. And of course, if you want to build a DIY hut, you can put it on this wall right here. Uh, it should blend right in with the uh, the the build that we're going to make. Um, so if you do that, you may not want this window. It's really up to you. Uh, I'll let you customize that however you like. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to fill in these gaps all the way up to the top of the door and the window frames like so. And you're just going to do that all the way around. Wow, it's going pretty fast so far, isn't it? So we've got this kind of deck area here. And what we need to do is we need to fill this in and make this more of a, a veranda. So let's take some more wood blocks here, uh, wood walls, and we'll go up one, two, up three, if you can, <laughs> right there. And then right in front of the door frame, let's put a wood wall right here. I'm going to stack up this time and do that on the other side too, like so. And then let's go in the corner, stack this up here, and then go all the way over here and do the same right here. One, two. Okay, not too bad so far. Let's go to the back deck really quick. Let's add a wood wall right there and a wood wall right there. Now it's time to add fences. So let me see if I can find the fence. So here's our fences. And I'm going to work on the back deck first. Uh, we're just going to put a fence right here and a fence right here and then a fence right here and just make sure that you line them up correct because if you rotate every once in a while they might be a little off but they should go right in the middle and they should be fine then we're going to put a fence right there and that way we'll allow a nice little exit right here for a little staircase so let's rotate and let's put it right there okay there you go there's our back deck and now we need to put two little wood stairs right there and let's go all the way over here and off the front. And let's put a wood stair right here and right there. All right, pretty cool. Now, for this bit right here up the front, let's go ahead. Let's do a fence right here, a fence right here. And then what we can do is we can stack them like this. And we want this one to be too high because, let's face it, these fences look a little dinky. So we're going to stack too high on each of those. Okay, there we go. So it's time to add the ceiling for the upper floor. Okay, so let's put a starter uh, ceiling right here. And you wanna make sure that they go all the same direction. This is kind of not the direction I wanna pick. So I'm gonna pick this up using Shift F. And I have to have the that URL overlay to, for it to work. Let's rotate it by pressing E and then there we go. So now it rotates this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way across here like so. And once you have those done, we can go ahead and pick those up and then you can come down here and it's easier just to build from below. Uh, so just do that. Um, if you mess up, just do this again and just go all the way across like so and do this all the way across. All right, so we've got an upper layer of ceilings right here. Now let's go ahead and, oops, I want to do that. Let's extend them so that they come across like this. And then we're gonna go all the way across the veranda on both sides of it and just cover this whole thing up. So this is what you should be looking at right now. Something like this, not the trees, but the, the, this thing. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and work on the roof here in just a second. But I would like to shout out uh, a Patreon of mine, uh, because that's a thing now, which is really cool. Um, his name is Majin Day, and uh, he built a really cool base over on our Ark Ragnarok server. Uh, not PixArk, but Ark, uh, where he uh, did a little kind of uh, Polynesian style village. Uh, and he lit up the crystal cave area in the desert, uh, like bones and things like, like Disneyland lights up 
uh, Epcot Center and, and special structures and things like that. And it's really cool to look at at night. I, I have to say it was very impressive. Um, and I really appreciate his uh, patronage and support. And I look forward to many more months of uh, working together and being creative and just looking at really cool stuff. And if you like my content and you want to do more than watching my videos uh, in order to support me, then go ahead and head on over to patreon.com slash SWChris and sign up for one of the rewards tiers. You can get uh, stuff for as little as a uh, dollar a month, which is uh, really cool, I think. So, all right. So that aside, let's go ahead and uh, head on inside. Actually, let's not. Let's go over here. And I, uh, I had an editing mistake, so I edited around something um, and I'm showing you the correct steps here. Let's put an extra temporary wood foundation here and let's build up two wood walls, right? Like so. And then what we need to do is we need to ring this area. So let's go all the way around. Let's ring this thing with ceilings all the way around. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow us a base to actually place some uh, <laughs> uh, thatch walls as part of our roof. Now, uh, let's go ahead and do some ladders up to the top here. You should only need four, um, but we'll see. And let's climb up here. And this is just temporary. Uh, we'll get rid of this in a minute. The awesome thing about uh, PixArk is that unlike Ark, you can leave objects and they'll just float, which is really cool. So let's put some down some thatch walls along the sides of the front and the back. Um, don't go all the way around just yet. I just want to kind of build this up a little bit. Uh, so let's do this like so. So once you have a row of thatch walls placed um, along the front and the back, uh, let's go ahead, let's take some wood blocks, wood walls, and then place them along here like so. And we're going to step up in a pyramidal sort of fashion, uh, but we're not going to go full pyramid. So let's do this. And then we're just going to go three across on top and leave it like that. So that our roof area is going to be uh, four, four blocks high when all is said and done. So let's do that and mirror that on the other side. Okay, now that that's mirrored, we now have our kind of template to follow. So here's what we're going to do, okay? We're going to go kind of like a typewriter right across here and then move on to the next row or like you're eating a row of corn on a cob, sort of, which uh, kind of fits the <laughs> the theme, I suppose. So what we need to do is we need to use thatch walls, and these will also be some of your um, your temporary placer blocks that uh, I described. So let's do this all the way across, like so, and then stack up one, and then you're going to stack up like this all the way across. And now see how we can't do this? You're going to have to put a row like this all the way across and then remove it later. So uh, instead of trying to do this all at once and just ending up with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of extra thatch uh, walls that you have to craft, what I would recommend is once you get a row done, uh, take your take your nearest gun or cursor or whatever, and anything that gives you a cursor, and then pick up everything underneath, just like so. And then start on the next row. Oh, yes. So, of course, you may be wondering, hey, uh, what about thatch roofs? Why, do, why don't you use those? Well, I'm building this right after the game comes out. And while they're available in creative mode, they're not really craftable below level 20 at this point in time. But if you do have access to them, by all means, please use them because you don't have to do all this stacking and uh, removing and stuff. You can just build right across with them, at least the way they're configured and the way they work now. So if you have access to thatch roofs, by all means, craft them and use them. They'll probably look better anyway, but uh, since this is a blocky thing, the, the blocky walls work too for roofs. So yeah. <laughs> all right, there we go. So now that we've got all this filled in, if we come around the corner here, you may have forgotten to fill this in too. That is just fine because uh, what we can do now is um, if, if you did do it, you can stand down there and build up with some dirt and uh, remove these uh, like I'm doing now. Uh, otherwise, you can just stand up here and just remove them. Uh, what we want to do is make sure that these are just one block in width and they just kind of stair step up. So just make sure that uh, you do it right. And then when you're done, both sides should look like this. 
And of course, now, once the roof is finished, we can remove the ceilings. So let's just go around and get rid of all of these. And when you're done, your house will look like this. So the exterior is now finished, which is really cool. I like the way it looks. So now let's go ahead and head inside and do some interior design. So the first thing I always do is open all the windows because that just kind of makes things nice and airy. And of course, when we come in, what we need to do is take some wood walls and put three of them right up against here because this is going to be the actual way we get up here from now on. So let's go ahead and clean, uh, get rid of this ceiling. And let's place ladders right here, just four all the way up. And now you'll be able to climb up here. So that gives us a nice open kind of loft area. However, it's not quite the way I think we should do this. I mean, yeah, we can store stuff up here, but let's add some style, okay? So let's put a wood block right here and uh, just kind of cap that off so that what we can do is, um, mm, let's go ahead, get rid of this ceiling and this ceiling and these, and just make a four by four area, well, roughly four by four minus this spot. So that uh, this opens up like so. There we go, very nice. And then in order to mirror this, let's add four more blocks two or three more blocks all the way up to the top and then put one block right here and then let's use the rest of our um oh yeah let's put a block right there and then let's use the rest of our fences so let's put a fence right there and a fence right here and here and here there we go so now we have an actual loft area with some design and hey looks pretty cool to me right so let's go ahead start in on some decorations so we've got this nice open spot, and I think this would make a great spot for a bedroom, but also kind of a crafting area. And uh, of course the DIY stuff will be outside, probably on that wall. But the indoor stuff like, uh, you know, the die table, or where, are, where is it? The die table or the tailor's workbench, you know, we can, we can put those up here and just kind of uh, trick out our bedroom that way. And of course this, this would be a great spot for a lot of storage. So let's, um, Let's put some uh, storage chests like right along the edge here. So let's just ring this whole area like this. Just go along this whole wall. This is probably more storage than you need for this size of a house. So I would customize it to what you feel comfortable with having, what you think looks good. It works fine either way. Um, and then let's go ahead and add some carpet. Um, I don't like doing wall to wall. Uh, so let's just do a throw rug style and I'm just using thatch carpet. So thatch carpet, let's put a bed and I think a bed should go right here maybe. And how about the die table? Now this thing place is kind of funny. Uh, if you stand in the wrong spot, see how it just kind of goes in the wall and doesn't want to place. It's really weird that way. So you just kind of have to move around so you can find a good spot for it. Place it right there. Make sure that the shark is facing toward you. Otherwise, well, you'll have to place it. You'll have to destroy it and uh, cook, make it again. And it's just a big pain in the butt. Um, what we probably want to do right now, let's go ahead and pick these up temporarily. And let's put a die table in right here. And I'm going to have it face like that. And now we can put our wood blocks back. So I need to grab them or wood walls. Put a wood wall right here and a wood wall right here. The reason I had to pick these up is because the die table, the die workbench, doesn't like placing into wood walls, but wood walls are fine placing into the die workbench. It's really strange. Uh, and then finally, let's do a mortar and pestle right there. Why not? Kind of actually kind of makes a nice little banister thing. So if you want to do it, I mean, it's fine. Oh, actually, uh, symmetry sake. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so this is this is a nice bedroom. I like it. Uh, let's go down below and try to decorate this area. So what we should do is do another kind of thatch rug. So I'm going to do this. And let's put a table. Let's do one right here. Uh, that way it doesn't crowd the doorway, but there's still a little room here. And then let's add some chairs. So four chairs. Let's do a full set. 
technically this is a little overkill, but uh, you know, we're going for aesthetics, not just uh, defensibility or storage or whatever. I mean, you can turn this into storage if you want. It's just, you know, it's not what I do. Uh, and you should do what you do. So let's put a uh, spear display stand right here and let's just transfer our clips over uh, using our uh, T key. There they are. Hey, looks nice. Not too bad. And they don't get in the way of the doorway, which is nice. Yeah, very cool. Okay, so that is this. Let's come out here. Let's do a little exterior decoration. Uh, we're almost done. Let's go ahead and do a flower pot right here and a flower pot right here. So if you find any flower seeds, you can make your front porch look nice, which is pretty cool. And of course, the cooking pot. We don't want to forget that. Since that's an item that looks like it belongs outside, we're putting it outside. Let's put it right here on the side of the hill. Easy to get to, but uh, not too crazy. So that is how you build this nice looking starter home. In the next video, what we're gonna do is we are going to build underneath and build a staging area for mining, for equipping uh, small dinosaurs like trikes or, or smaller and uh, more storage more more storage now i didn't used to think i was very creative until i met some friends on the internet and we built a cool city it called sw city and it was really awesome and i learned that i could be actually really creative and this channel exists because i want to help you do the same thing learn that you're creative and to just encourage you to try building something like this so if that sounds inspiring to you, hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button to stick around and then become a little more creative by clicking on one of the videos on your screen. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. And in the meantime, go make something awesome. Bye.